Is a college degree useless? Are boot camps scams? And is it even possible to get a job as a self-taught developer? All of these questions and more I'm going to be answering in this video. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And today I'm going to be talking about whether or not you should go to college and comparing it to things like boot camps and self-taught developers. I myself went to a full four-year university and I got a degree in computer engineering, but unfortunately at my school they really didn't teach anything about web development, so pretty much everything I know about web development is self-taught, so I have a really interesting balance between a full school degree and also being self-taught, so I can really touch on both angles of the topic. Now first, when we're talking about school versus boot camp versus self-taught, obviously by far the biggest difference is going to be the price. A full four-year degree is going to cost way more than a boot camp, and a boot camp is going to cost way more than the self-taught route. But what is the difference in that price? If you go to a full four-year university and you go to, you know, a private out-of-state university, it's going to cost you tons of money, at least in the U.S. While if you go to an in-state school and it's a public in-state school, it's going to be quite a bit cheaper than, you know, some of those other options. So really looking at the schools you want to go to, try to choose those cheaper options because the difference in education you get between a $100,000 a year school and a $10,000 a year school is not the, you know, 10 times difference. It may be slightly better at the more expensive school, but odds are you're pretty much going to get the same education anywhere. And mostly when employers are looking at educations, they don't care as much the school you went to and more so the fact that you actually went through a full four-year degree. Another thing to consider when you're going to school or not going to school is how much scholarship money can you get. If you have pretty good grades or you have good test scores, you might be able to get a significant amount of your tuition covered by scholarships, which is really going to save you a lot of money and then you really only have to worry about housing, which while it's still expensive, is much cheaper than paying for housing and tuition. Now speaking of scholarships, in-state, out-of-state, private, public, an interesting story about myself is that my senior year of high school, I ended up moving from Nebraska to Delaware, which meant I no longer qualified for in-state tuition at any Nebraska school. But also, since I hadn't lived in Delaware for at least a year, I also did not qualify for in-state tuition in Delaware, which meant I couldn't get in-state tuition at any school in the entirety of the United States, even though I lived in the U.S. for my entire life. It kind of blew my mind. So it really sucked because I was forced to pay out-of-state tuition anywhere, but luckily I was able to end up getting an out-of-state scholarship at the school I went to in Nebraska. But one thing to consider about scholarships is in-state scholarships are usually much easier to get than out-of-state scholarships. So again, if you're trying to get a scholarship, go for those in-state schools. It's going to be much easier to get those scholarship money versus an out-of-state school. Now, when it comes to boot camps, the price varies quite a bit, but generally you're probably going to be in a range of like five to $10,000 for your education, which is way cheaper than college. So it is a really good option if you're looking to spend some money on education, but don't have enough to spend on a full-on college degree. And then of course, when you come to the self-taught route, this can be anywhere from free to maybe a couple hundred dollars for courses that you buy. But in the end, it's like way, way cheaper, pretty much non-existent cost compared to schools and boot camps. Now, this is where most people stop the discussion between college boot camps and self-taught, but there's a lot of other things to consider. And by far the biggest one that most people don't think about is the opportunity cost between these different options. By going to a full four-year degree, you're dedicating four full years of your life to this degree that you cannot spend working. I mean, you can spend working a little bit maybe as an intern for part-time, but really that time is not spent growing your career and getting better at your you know, job. You're spent in school, so you're stuck four years of your life essentially not working towards your career capital and your earning potential. Well, if you go the boot camp route, boot camps are generally much shorter. They're going to be a year or less usually. So then you're only dedicating one year of your life to something and you have three additional years that you can use to start growing your career and building up that capital. And then the self-taught route, it really depends how long it's going to take you to learn, but generally you're going to take at least six months to a year to learn. So it's going to be much more in line with that boot camp route. And again, you can start growing your career much quicker. I think this is one thing that a lot of people overlook that even if they can go to college completely for free, or even if it's the same price as a boot camp, the amount of extra time you spend in college may actually be detrimental because you're pushing back your career. And instead of starting your career at the age of like 18 or 19, you're now starting it at like 21, 22, 23, which really pushes back your timeline. Now, another thing that's important to consider is the actual education you get from what you're going to. In the self-taught route, this is entirely dependent on yourself. Generally, if you're going self-taught, you're probably going to have some gaps in your knowledge because it's hard to know what you don't know. So there's going to be some gaps in there, but that's okay for the most part because you're going to be able to fill those in as you start working. 
With the boot camp, you're gonna have a really strict regimented schedule. You're gonna learn a ton about that one particular topic. Let's say it's web development. And you're gonna become really good at web development. You're not gonna to have too many gaps in your knowledge, but you're gonna lack a lot of more general, you know, computer science topics, or maybe you're gonna lack like some backend skills if you're focused on front end, or if you're focused on back end, you're gonna lack some front end skills. Either way, there's going to be some gaps in your knowledge when you take the boot camp route that you would normally get in a full four-year degree. Now, when it comes to a full four-year college degree, you're going to learn a lot of stuff around, you know, the background of computer science. You're gonna learn a lot of computer science-y topics that can be useful, but you're probably not gonna learn as much about, you know, web development or a particular topic that you care about as you would in a boot camp. That's because a college degree has to teach you everything, not just web development or not just backend. They have to teach you everything from like software development, game development, front end development, back end development. So you just dabble a little bit in a lot of different topics. And some topics like web development in my school never even got really touched at all. And instead you're focusing more on those grounding skills. Another thing about college education is a lot of times it's outdated. It may not be that outdated, but it's probably going to be at least five to 10 years outdated from what's being used by modern day companies. And that really puts a stain on you because like when I went to college, I was learning C and Java and I haven't touched either of those languages since I graduated because especially in the web development space, those are not languages you use at all. And while there are still companies that use C and Java all over the place, Java especially is a language that is declining in my opinion and other languages like JavaScript are much more popular even though they don't even touch on or teach those in school. Now another aspect a lot of people don't really think about when it comes to college versus not college is the social aspect. While you're in college, you're gonna be surrounded by a lot of people that are similarly like-minded. They're all gonna be around the same age as you and you can really bond with these people, network, meet new friends and so on. And it's a great social environment, but do you really wanna pay 40, 50, $60,000 for a social environment? Odds are probably not. So if social reasons are the only reason you choose to go to college, you're probably wasting your money and you'd be much better off going to meetups or other events that would bring you around the same people you would get at college. With a boot camp, you have some social aspects because you're again going to be around a lot of people that have a similar mindset to you. But in a boot camp, you're gonna get a lot of people from different areas. You're gonna have some people that are coming to a career in programming much later in their lives. So you're gonna have a lot of people that are maybe 30, 40 years old that are transitioning from other careers while in college, it's almost always, you know, like 18, 19, 20 year old kids. And you're also gonna have people that just don't have the time for socializing as much because they have families, kids, and so on that they have to deal with. So that social aspect is still there, but it's not quite as strong. And obviously the self-taught route has by far the least amount of social interaction unless you're actively going out and finding meetups and so on that you can have that social interaction with. And if you are going the self-taught route, I highly recommend you find a way to bring some social aspect in and go out there to meetups and so on. Now, none of these other topics really matter that much compared to this last one, which is on the job prospect. How likely are you to get a job given that you've went to college, went to a boot camp, and are self-taught? And one thing that college does have going for it is that having a degree that says, I went through four years of school is a thing that employers like to see. They don't always like to see it because they're like, oh, you learned so much about computer science because really you probably didn't. They like to see that because they're like, well, you know what? This person went through four years of their life and they struggled through college and they made it through. And it shows that you have at least some level of work ethic. Who knows how much work ethic, but you went through a difficult program and you have some type of work ethic that they can use. And maybe you aren't the best programmer, but you have that work ethic. With the boot camp, it also shows that you have a good work ethic. You made it through this boot camp, but it doesn't have quite the same weight as a degree, at least to many employers, because a boot camp is a shorter time frame. So they're like, okay, well, you went through like six months of your life at this, but you didn't dedicate, you know, a full four years. But it still looks good. And then when it comes to the self-taught route, employers are left wondering, they're like, well, you didn't go through college, you didn't go through a boot camp. Do you have that work ethic? Personally, I think people that went the self-taught route and have the skills have the best work ethic because it's really, really hard to motivate yourself when you're self-taught. While at school, you have homework and assignments you have to go through, but when you're self-taught, you have to do all that on your own. But employers just don't see that. They kind of overlook that and they say, oh, well, this person's self-taught. They must be lazy because they didn't get into school or they're not good enough to get into school, even though many people go self-taught because they want to. I will say if you do go to school, it's much easier to get a job, but that's not always worth it because it takes you four years to go through school. So maybe it takes you four years to go through school and then you find a job immediately. Well, let's say you go the self-taught route. It takes you like a year and a half to learn everything. And then it takes you a full year to find your first job. Well, that's two and a half years that you spent and now you have a job while the computer scientist spent four years in school to get the same job. So you're still ahead on timeline. So even though it's gonna be harder to get a job, even if it takes you a whole year or so to find your job, you're probably still ahead on the timeline of your career than someone that went to college. Now, what exactly is my opinion on this? I personally think college can be a good choice if you you know don't really mind the money that it's going to cost you. It's not too big of a deal or if the social aspect is really important for you, or if you have a really hard time motivating yourself. 
And that's because boot camps are tough and being self-taught is even tougher. So if you have that struggle of motivating yourself and keeping dedicated, school gives you a way where it's going to essentially guide rail you all the way to the destination. It may take you longer, but you're guaranteed to get there pretty much. Boot camps are really tough and they're really hard. So I'd recommend that if you have some, you know, discipline and some level of skill there to go for the boot camp route, if you have the time you can dedicate to it, it's still going to cost you money, but it's still a good option if you have that little bit of extra dedication. And then finally, if you have the most amount of dedication and you really think, you know what, I can dedicate a year, two years of my life to learning this without failing and without falling and dropping the ball, then maybe the self-taught route is right for you. And personally, it's entirely up to you. All these options are valid. It's really the one that you think is best for you. And if anything, I'd recommend just starting with a self-taught route. See if it works for you. If not, maybe move on to a boot camp. maybe move on to a full-on college degree, or maybe you'll realize programming's not even the right choice for you at all. Now, the reason it's so much easier to get a job as a college grad is partially due to the amazing career fair where you can interact with different companies. And that's something that self-taught developers and boot camp grads don't have, which is why I'm working to create my very own virtual career fair where you can talk to companies in a normal career fair environment even if you aren't a college grad, whether you're self-taught, boot camp, or whatever, you have that ability. So if this is something that sounds interesting to you, I'm going to have a link in the description to the career fair down below, and I highly recommend you sign up and check it out.